Welcome back to Scale Auto Guys Workbench. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of this 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome from Atlantis. This kit arrived on my front porch uh, just this morning and as you can see Amazon did a wonderful bang up job on their packaging when they shipped it to me. They just slapped the label on it and sent it on its way. Well, during the shipping process, the box got really damaged. And I'm hoping that when I get this box opened up and we look through the parts, everything's there and nothing is damaged. So let's get to that. It doesn't really look damaged enough to really damage anything on the inside, but you can never be too careful. So right there on the top is the decal sheet. Uh, gives you uh, two different plates, gives you all of the Cadillac logos, your white walls for your tires and the center uh, cap marks, uh, center cap logos, gosh. <laughs> all right. Huh, that's interesting. All right, first out of the box is the glass. It's got a little mark on it there. Yep, okay. So I got a little mark right there on that back window. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but it's there. First out is the chrome tree. That chrome is really nice and bright. Looks pretty good. Now this is, uh, let's see, oh, the instruction sheet. This car uh, is not like what you would get in a modern day kit. Um, this was just how they were made back in the 50s and 60s. As you can see here, it's a two-piece body. Or technically, more to the point, it's a three-piece body because the roof is separate as well. So let's take a look. Let's cut this bag open here and take a look on the inside. I see some loose parts floating around in there already. So jiggle that down to the bottom and make sure that that doesn't come flying out and onto the floor. Here's your uh, chassis pan and part of the side of the car. This is part of your doors. It's, this is a four-door kit. At least with this, you can kind of detail the chassis a bit. It's going to be a little tricky to paint, though. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of luck here lately masking off stuff. To paint, I, I usually uh, ends up bleeding. Here's the upper half of the body, and that's kind of wow. Can you guys see that? That's really scuffed right there. Oh my gosh! It doesn't feel bad. It's just kind of scuffed. Um, once I get a coat of primer on that, that should be fine, I suppose. There is a little bit of flash around the edges. But you gotta, you you kind of have to expect that from a mold of this vintage. But yeah, that's sort of how it kind of goes together. Let me get it lined up right here. Holy smokes! Okay, line up the doors. There we go. This one's gonna be a little bit different than the ones I'm used to building. So there's going to be a lot of test fitting involved, but uh, we'll get it.
Wow, this is a jumbled mess. Uh, here's part of your dash. Because it's a two-piece dash. Uh, here's the other half that goes on here. Like that. So we'll set that aside. This is your uh, front seat back, I believe. These are your lower panels for the body. In the uh, picture, uh, you can't really see it that well. Um, in the picture on the box, this part is chrome. So um, you can either uh, fully cover it with uh, bare metal foil, which is an idea, or uh, if, if you have Alclad, uh, if you if you use that, that would be good. Um, or you can just paint it silver and call it a day. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. I'm kind of undecided. This kit also comes with figures. So you have a, a male and a female figure. You get the other halves of them out here. Here's the male figure. Oh, it's got some flash on it. Here's the male figure just standing there with this nice suit. This is the female figure, or at least, should I say, the back side of the female figure. <laughs> the other half is in here. So these go, uh, go together like that. That needs a little trimming, a little sanding here and there. That'll be nice to paint up uh, and put together. Oh, that's stuck together. Here's your door panels. They're kind of no frill. You know, it's looks like it's going to be easy to um, detail them at least. Here's your steering wheel. ton of flash around it. So, and your uh, steering column. It's all in one tree. That, that'll make it kind of easy to paint at least. They're all in one spot. There's your front and rear seats. This is your front seat, and uh, it's labeled bottom, back. So I guess that's because it's not real easy to determine which is which. I don't know. Uh, yeah, here's your back seat with the speaker in, in the uh, center, and that's pretty self-explanatory how that goes in. No guess there. Here's your roof. That's kind of scuffed as well. I don't know if you can see the scuffs, but yeah, there they are. Yeah, that's kind of scuffed up too. A little rough. There's a little rough spot on it. Have to do a little sanding on that. Here's your floor pan. Um, it's kind of a weird looking way to have carpeting, but Hey, it's textured. <laughs> Here's your uh, rear axle. And, haven't seen this in years. Long, long, long years. Many, many years. Plastic. Plastic tires. Um, now, you can assemble these and put them on the kit. I'm sure that once they are painted, if you do the paint job correctly... Um, you won't be able to tell the difference if they're vinyl or if they're plastic. Um, so I'm going to try putting those together and make them look real. There's the rest of them on a the tree. All right. And what is that little part down inside this bag? Is that part of just part of a tree or... That's something. I don't know. I don't know if that's something that goes on the kit. Like a rear view mirror, maybe? I don't know. Well, I'm going to save it. I'm not going to throw it out for now. I'm just going to save it and see if that is part of the kit. Uh, if it's not, then it goes, goes away. If it is, it goes on the car. All right. There's the unboxing. Everything turned out um, perfect. I couldn't ask for 
better I guess considering the way that the kit was shipped to me um, with the label right there on this um, on the box like that it's crazy anyway there's the box that's what the car is supposed to look like this came molded in red and I suppose it would look okay in red I'm not going to do red the whole purpose for me getting this car was so that I could add a pink Cadillac to my collection I don't have any Cadillacs in my collection and I figured if I'm gonna add one it's gonna be pink so there it is I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any comments questions anything like that make sure you leave it below in the comments section I'll make sure that I get back to you on that and um, if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the bell icon so you're aware of my newest videos when they come out and I want to give you guys all you guys that have already subscribed to my channel a big thank you uh, it means a lot to me to have enough interest on my channel that you guys will subscribe and uh, I hope you're enjoying my videos until next time uh, well, I'm gonna get the building on this and you I'm gonna have another uh, full-length build video of this vehicle coming soon um, so until next time thank you for watching scale out of guys workbench have a great day